In the course of its history, the aviation industry has suffered from major collisions on the runway. Many people will remember the Tenerife accident in 1977 involving two 747s. More recently in 2016, at Chongju Airport, a landing 737 avoided by few feet an A320 entered by error on the runway. Runway safety has certainly improved thanks to the implementation of safety management systems. For instance, runway status light is implemented on some major airports. However, these methods are not expected to fully resolve the problem of runway incursion. As a result of air traffic growth and increasingly busy airports, the runway vicinity remains one of the biggest challenges for aviation safety. Accidents continue to occur and the number of runway incursions remains steady. Worldwide, one runway incursion is reported every day. Over the last five years, 28 high-risk occurrences, in other words, near-miss collisions, were recorded. Even though TCAS has been around since 1981 and has been improved continuously since then, there is currently no airborne avionics system to prevent collisions on the runway. The deployment of ADSB in the last 10 years uh, is a unique opportunity for such alerting functions. In partnership with Honeywell, Airbus is leading the development of a new system uh, preventing runway collision. We call this Surf A or Surface Alert. Surf A is basically the ultimate safety net when all the previous barriers uh, have failed to prevent the collision. In the scope of CESAR 2020, a new system is developed, tested in the simulator, and will be soon flight tested. Thanks to ADSB in, Surf A collects the positions and speeds of surrounding aircraft. The algorithm keeps aircraft within the runway vicinity and compares their trajectories with the own ship position. Time to collision is computed, and if there is a risk of collision, both oral and visual alerts are provided to the pilots. Surf A protects the own ship in all the possible situations close to the runway. Takeoff, landing, lineup, runway crossing and taxi on the runway. One big challenge of the project will be to prove that ADSB on ground is reliable uh, for such alerts. There are difficulties that everybody knows, like signal interruptions or multipass. Thanks to partnership with airlines, uh, we collect uh, a large amount of ADSB and then we'll uh, analyze it together with Honeywell and Eurocontrol. By doing so, we hope to uh, prove that this data is suitable uh, to provide timely and reliable alerts. During the simulator tests that we are currently doing, our pilots are placed in a realistic airport environment and we provide them ATC erroneous clearance in order to simulate conflict. Each scenario is played several times under different conditions of visibility. What we are not testing yet is collision on the taxiway and on the apron. These are less hazardous events, but it costs a lot of money to airlines and it will certainly be the next phase for surf -A. Well, we've completed our assessments of the surf A function here in our engineering test simulator. Track on runway. Track we saw several runway aircraft conflicts generated by the Surface system, which is many more than we hope the average pilot will see during their whole career. But what we saw was that the alerts were generated in good time to allow us to take positive action to avoid a collision, in this case, go around. The beauty of the system is that it works even in the conditions of low visibility when the pilots cannot see the other aircraft. So I think this uh, system will make a positive contribution to safety in providing that essential last barrier against a collision when things have gone wrong. In addition to simulator evaluations, large-scale fast-time simulations will be performed under all possible operating conditions. This will allow us to demonstrate the performance of the system, particularly with regard to the stringent objectives of minimal false alarms. Within the CESAR program, the final step will be to flight test the function under real conditions in early 2019. Once the validations will have demonstrated the performance of the function, Airbus aims to bring Surf A to the market by 2021. Together with our partners, we would like to be the first to deploy Surf A and contribute to preventing runway collision.